Now, two groups of protesters clashed during Tuesday's demonstrations in Nairobi Central Business District, leaving two motorcycles torched. A number of motorcycles in the first group believed to be pro-government had their number plates still prompting questions of whether they are being funded by a number of political leaders. And as Sami Adika now reports, this comes even as the acting inspector general of police, Douglas Kanja, had earlier in the day issued a stern warning to demonstrators against occupying Jomo Kenyatta International Airport, among other protected areas. This was the situation in the capital, Nairobi. For over three hours, the CBD was at a standstill after, after a group, group of Boda Boda riders entered, entered the, the town, town carrying placards, placards in solidarity with the Ruto led government. Moments later, many on foot were left complaining of being robbed by the group. So you find people demonstrating who are by bikes, but the bikes have no number plates. How do we identify them? They will hit a number plate, they are snatching from citizens, and the government is right there, right in front of them. Wana kunyanganya na serikali menyamaza. Wana kuibia simu na serikali ya ishtuki. Lakini mwana inche wakawaida kikuja hapa, to invoke prohibitions of Article 37, the freedom of assembly, peaceful picketing and presenting petitions to public officials. Which is not fair. The situation escalated as the police were watching from a distance, leading to a conclusion that the riders were funded by certain political leaders to scare away anti-government protesters. Unaibiwa simu mbele ya askari. Pale GSU wa mesmama na bunduki, walifu wanakuibia simu and they are doing nothing. Minutes later, a second group came out marching to JKIA before the police intercepted them at Nyayo Stadium roundabout. This was the situation along Outer Ring Road as police officers mounted barriers to ensure no individual makes their way to JKIA. This continued even after the acting inspector general of police Douglas Kanja had issued a stern warning to demonstrators against occupying JKIA. Kuenda kuingia kwa kiwanja ya ndege huko. Na hujapata ruhusa ya kuingia huko haitakubarika. Nataka kukubusha wa Kenya wote. Hatuna hiji nyingine inaitwa Kenya ni hii peke yake tuko naye. Na sisi wote tuko na jukumu ya kuona ya kwamba hiji yetu iko sawasawa na iko na amani ya kutosha. In his press address earlier in the day, Kanja also urged police officers to continue discharging their duties diligently and ensure peace prevails. Tujukumike sisi wote tukijua ya kwamba hatuna mahali ingine ni hii tu, hii dio hiji yetu, hii Kenya. Atuna Kenya ingine, iko mahali ingine. Kwa hivyo sisi wote tuichunge na tuiride kama vile wibo yetu ya taifa yetu inasema. Na tukifanya namuna hiyo, kila moja yetu atakuwa kwa sasawa. Days after President William Ruto issued a stern warning to demonstrators, the youth now seem to be more energized in their quest for changes in the government, begging the question, is the government really ready to dialogue with the youth in order to end the uncertainties in the country? For Newswatch, I'm Sami Adika.